Hi, everybody. I am back at work and I am with Evil Client. Hi. <laughs> so we are going to do fall nails. I've started this design with a Dazzle Dry um, French Manicure Pink, a Wet n Wild Black, and I'm going over the top with um, a Jelly Black, and it is made by Lavish Polish Fire Opal. And it is a whole bunch of beautiful colors in the black and it's just going to catch the light here and there and I'm going to do a fall floral. I will meet you back with all the colors you need. They will have to be acrylic paints. I will be right back. Okay, so I have my paints out. They are by Delta Ceram Coat or um, Apple Barrel. You can buy these at Walmart or Michaels. I am going to start to ask you guys to refer everybody asking questions to my beginner playlist because I have put this all down and said everything that I use much more in detail in the beginners playlist. So I get I answer these questions on mostly every video and I think that we can make the videos small shorter and better if if you guys just help refer everybody who's watching to the beginner playlist on getting started. So anyways, I'm using a water mister. Water waters down all of these different paints. I spray them like this and just get them real nice and not, not all the way wet, but damp. You want them the consistency of hair dye. And so you don't want them like water unless you're doing really fine line work. I'm using the wand at robinmosesnailart.com. I always hold it upside down because I'm left-handed, but there you go. I'm using the wand and it's a liner. And um, I am going to get ready and start my floral. I will be mixing the greens together, the red and the purples together. Um, I have the black out. I have a dark red and orange, green, yellow, neon green, purple, black, and red. So I will be saying the names of the colors, but um, I don't know if I can get everything into the frame if I need to. Maybe I can. Let's see how great I, I can do it. Okay. So I'm going to go. Don't put that in there. I saw you almost touch it. I was trying not to. <laughs> so I'm mixing, 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 so you get all of the water mixed nicely together. And I kind of put the jelly on top and then the black on the bottom, so there's two layers. And then that will allow colors to mix and blend through the design. But um, I'm going to start with a dark leaf like this. This is just green pretty much out of the tube. I'll do that across the nails. Then with a lighter green, oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to stay in frame and do this. So let me get bigger here. Okay. With a lighter green, I'm adding a little bit of yellow. And then um, putting different kinds of leaves in here, like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to layer the design like anything. Like you want to start with the most muted dark colors, and you want to bring the lighter colors to the top, so it becomes like a bouquet. And that's what we're doing. It was we're doing like a fall bouquet that's like really fun and matches everything. And if you guys notice right now, floral is in style for everything. I've seen it everywhere and it's just so pretty right now with all the leaves and everything. So you can go up into the French and just mix and color and put all the leaves in and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow and I'm going to start making um, little tiny flowers. Now this would be considered like filler flowers and if you go to my beginning tutorials you'll see what I mean but you just take little little stabs into the nail and go dot 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 in a circle and make little circular nails. Of course, my dog is barking right when I start filming, but you guys, please don't hate him, and I try not to. Evil client will love him for all of us. They have a special love. <laughs> it's him. 
embarrassing when your dog loves your client more than he loves you. But I I would too if I. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Okay, so there's the yellow. Now I'm gonna go in with red. The red, boom, where is my? I'm gonna go with the red and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of purple just to, to, to make it more fuchsia colored, more fall, right there. Okay, now I'm going to go and push in circles and triangles colors. Okay, circle, circle, circle. And if it's if it's a tiny little nail, just try and get a little circle in there. And like this, just kind of push it around. They can go anywhere on the nail. You don't want them too close to the cuticle because the growth will show. Okay. And I'll finish out. All right. Now I have the red and I'm adding white to it. The white is going to go and just hit the tops. Maybe I need to add a little more for this one. Let me show you my, my tile. I got these two inch tiles at a, a restore place and she gave them to me for 10 for 10 cents. I was so happy. So I got a bunch of them. I got them. I think I got mostly all that I could find. Habitat for Humanity, you guys. They have tiles. And you don't have to, if you really mess one up, you don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going in and putting the roses in. Um, if you have a problem doing roses, and this is the first time you've seen my videos, search Robin Moses Roses or go to my flowers playlist. I have dozens of different ways to paint roses. And if you're having a problem with one way, just, just keep trying until you get, get them down. And um, they are a technique more than they are about painting and being artistic. Once you get the, the techniques down of this stuff, you'll um, really have an, like enjoy creating because it's, it's more than just, I don't know. It's like, it's like you use the technique, then you get the rose, and then you have better understanding, and then you feel a surge of creativity. So that's what I try to pass along to you guys because this whole design costs less than a dollar for me to create, but I can make a living doing it and um, so can you. So that's what I want you to learn from my videos. Now with orange, since I'm here, I'm going to just add a tiny bit of black to my orange. Let me get my tile back out. Tiny bit of black to my orange and make it a dark orange, a burnt orange. And I'm going to make little berries around with dots like that dot then wipe my brush wipe my brush on my towel like that make sure it's got no real paint in it and then okay here we go you Little tiny little stems, like that. Then with the light orange or the bright orange that hasn't been dulled down, I'm going to put the middles in, and then make little like uh, berries. What I'm using as a guide is that I just like the colors right there, so that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I'll go and finish that off. All right, before I top coat, and I'm not sure if I want to do a matte or a shiny. What do you think, evil client? I don't know. I don't either. But what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of lavender throughout in, in linear ways that go across the nail because it brings out the orange, the orange, the lavender, 
and then it also brings out the red. And when I top coat, it's gonna make all the difference. But I really like adding a touch of lavender in there just because it makes it almost rainbow, but keeps it still looking a little bit fall-like. So anybody who thinks this is too hard, please try it. Just keep rewinding. It looks hard at first when you really look at it. You're like, oh my gosh, it looks overwhelming. And you're like, no, I can never do it. But if you try it, just do it one step at a time and keep rewinding. Now I did the, uh, a design like this when I first started doing nail art online and, um, and I really wanted to recreate it. And this would be a good representation of recreating it. I think, I can't remember, Flemish. I think I called it Flemish flowers. If you look up Robin Moses Flemish flowers, and I and I had done this again, but the, but the quality of the lights were so poor then. So that is about it, and I'm gonna top coat and meet you back at the end. Okay, because I'm newly back to work, I can't get in the swing of things. But this this video will be a little bit longer. However, I want to say that I topped it on the ends with Northern Lights. You guys are the ones who told me that I can get this at Sally's, and you can get it at Sally's, and you can also get it at Fred Meyer's, and I actually found this at Goodwill. I know I'm just weird that way, but I did. I think I charged like $1.99. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to top coat, and I'll meet you back. Okay, now here is the end result, and I hope you can see these well. I'm going to try my best to make sure that you see them in all the lights. These are perfect for fall, and my light is very harsh right now. It's very hard to film at this time of day in general. So I just want to make sure you guys can see them from as many different angles as possible. So I have hundreds of designs in the flowers playlist, in the fall playlist, in the holiday playlist Christmas so get to painting and um, please hashtag me if you copy inspired by Robin Moses or team Robin Moses uh, Robin Moses wizards or Robin Moses sisterhood if you keep my name in the tag then we can just post the art that we're all making together and um, if you don't put the name in the tag then anybody can use it to sell their products or whatever their agenda is I have some uh, rights if you have my name in it and I want to make our group always about hand painted nail art so anyways I hope you enjoyed this you try it and show me tag me and I will see it on Instagram have a wonderful night and it's great to be back bye bye